So this was the same gentleman. This was 12 days ago in his case. And I was calling this a serpentine type of a nose because of the huge issues he was having. It was a very, very, very challenging case. I think I did it for the fourth time, right? Third time. Third time. So it was a tertiary rhinoplasty. This is after his second rhinoplasty that he had in other Indian cities. He also got issues with his lower lip. Show was not there. Severe scarring there. A lot of problems with the dorsum, problem with the valve, internal valve, external valve, dorsal aesthetic lines, you name it, and there was major issues. So all of that has been fixed to the best possible extent. I wouldn't say we've got 100% of the result, but we've got significant improvement also in his functional aspect. And this, we're going to remove the nasal pack right now. We've already removed the stitches on the lip. And you can make out we've got a better shape. The tubercle is there, the scar is still there on that aspect, but the moustache is going to grow better. So the scar is going to be more concealed. And now we're going to show his new nose for the first time. And we, yeah, uh, had to harvest rib as well. So this was after we did rib harvesting. And we can see there was a lot of work on the ALR base. There was work on the radix. And he's still swollen up. A lot, even though it's about 12 days post-surgery. And this swelling is going to slowly settle down. In this case, I think it's going to take maybe a couple of months or a little bit more maybe. And you can see there's some swelling. You see this is moving. Otherwise, this is a nice, nice dorsum that he's got. It's straight. The ALA base is still broad, but symmetrical. You see the tip. Uh, it's absolutely symmetrical. We're going to show you him first now. Let me just clean this up. All right. It's worth all the pain and all the trouble. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a real big ordeal. I mean, I think I took about four hours plus for your nose itself. Or maybe even more. I yeah. remember, I, I told your sister immediately. Anyway, so could we wait it? Even now, you see here, it's not healed as well. Can you yeah. see that? It's not healed as well. Yeah. And even for the lip, when we did there, you remember? When we took it off, yeah. I told you it had not healed that well. Now it's healed well. So everything is running a week of four, five days late for you. And obviously so, you know, yeah. so much of scarring. I mean, I mean, it was really horrendous to say at the least. I mean, so all of that will take more time to heal. Take very, very, very good care of your nose. Yeah. So like two months. Yeah. Okay. Lip is healed now. 80 to okay. 70% because it's more of muscle work. Yeah. Here is more of bony work and it's multiple things. A lot of stitches inside your nose. Okay. So I know you're able to breathe better. But there will be so many stitches inside your nose. It will dissolve over three months or so. Okay. Once it all dissolves, maybe even six months, then you feel like really, really nice. And after all of this, okay. after all of this, so six months, nine months, one year later, if you do desire to have some more improvement, I can still do that. I'm not going to open your nose okay. again, okay. but we can work on the sides and narrow it. Okay. So I couldn't do it more than this because we were doing too many things inside, a lot of scarring, and uh, it wasn't possible to do more. But we can do it nine or months later on if you so desire. Just the width. Okay. That will make a huge difference later on. And that will be just a day or two for you at most. The rest will be perfect. There will be no asymmetry. And you can see the side view. I mean, look at this view before. And it's, and it's going to come down, the swelling. Okay. Yeah. And the, the, the harder part for your nose is not just that it was done a couple of times before. Also because um, there was a cleft effect yeah, yeah. first. Day was done a couple of times badly done the last time yeah. still one more problem very very thick skin you've got yeah. so it was like thick skin in a cosmetic nose is difficult cleft nose is difficult yeah. redo is difficult and and like badly done nose so um so yeah it was really difficult and i'm i'm glad you understood because I told you after your sister and you understood the difficulty and help us yeah. because see when we do say um, I mean like you know some redos we don't charge more generally but sometimes like this you know and, and 
Also, what it looks outside is like bad, but many of the times the noses are not so badly scarred inside. Okay. But in your case, it's like all the layers have been, yeah. uh, I don't know, they've tried different things. And yeah. anyway, I'm glad uh, I could get so much result. It's one of my, it's probably one of my top three challenging cases for this year at least. It's been oh. that much. <laughs> no, just no, really. I do a lot of redos. I, I don't easily say like that. Yeah. And um, so I was telling my assistant doctor was assisting me. This is like made me put in 20 years of my 20 plus years of my rhinoplastic experience with one patient. Like, you know, so many different crafts. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah. take care. And please send us your pictures regularly. So you've crossed the first um, hurdle, but you're healing. I usually say a month. I'm giving you two into two X everything. So two months, take okay. very, very good care of your nose. Don't even let it hit. Uh, no exercising. Take the tablets that we give you. Anything, contact us. And right. the lip will also become a little bit softer. It, it will become good. totally softer, but the muscle will heal faster. Okay. Even if you bump your lip a little bit somewhere, it's not it's not going to change anything now, okay. but the nose will change. Yeah. So that's why there's a difference between the lip and the nose now. Okay. So the nose also a lot of bony work, cartilaginous work, a okay. lot of grafting, a lot of work in the scarring inside, scar release, contracture work internal wall, external wall, septoplasty, septal reconstruction. So it's like a five centimeter long work from inside. So we have to have to give it a very, very good uh, rest. Okay. And uh, I would not, if you can stay inside the house, it's better. Yeah. Avoid crazy traffic, avoid uh, dust, avoid anything like that, that can go in and create some issues. So just take okay. Yeah. And do I need to wear any kind of a protective mask? No, do not. So mask, if you wear, you know, it can just make a groove on that. So okay. don't wear a mask. Or you wear the tie mask like this. Okay. So you can gently tie it. Okay. Um, that's it. Don't wear spectacles for two, three months. Yeah, sure. But I'm more worried about any injury or yeah, something. That, that you'll be very, very careful. Huh? Yeah, I'm taking they will that. give you everything. Nasal drops, this and that. Okay. And um, that's all. Uh, regarding the brushing and everything normal normal I can start with all that right? everything normal okay, okay. diet also normal